going to take the key first. We can lock the vehicle, press twice to start remotely, press twice to open the trunk, and also activate the alarm. We're going to unlock the car first, then open the door and close it. Our first stop is going to be the steering wheel. On the left side we find ADA systems. Press and hold for regular cruise. Then press and hold again for adaptive cruise control. We can activate any of the systems. We can set the speed. Pause and also resume the systems. In addition, we can also change the distance to the car ahead. Gap adjust. Then moving over to the right side. Voice assist first. We can go to the media menu. Then select different media sources. We can check recent calls and also mute and unmute the sound. We could also start and end a phone call as well. We can activate steering wheel heating or switch between different instrument cluster themes. Our next stop is going to be the instrument cluster. In the head unit, we can select or deselect what is shown in the instrument cluster. Speed signs, turn by turn graphics, or traffic sign recognition. In addition, we can add or remove menus, as you can see now on the left side of the instrument cluster. We can switch between different options available. On the right, again, we can show the media menu. Then recent calls. And different instrument cluster themes. Let's move to the head up display for a second. We can select and display navigation and recent calls. Then move over to the instrument cluster, have a look. Make sure to look at the head up display, you can see it. We can remove and add the content to be displayed in the head-up display. In addition, we can adjust the brightness, the position, and also the rotation. Our next stop is the rearview mirror. 
we're going to turn it on first by pushing it forward. Different options. We can change to brightness. We can zoom in and out. And also adjust the position, then turn it back off. Moving on to the hat unit next, above this floating volume dial, we find an off and on button. We can turn the display off and on and also mute and unmute the sound. On the left, different shortcuts. We can turn the vehicle off and also change the light settings or leave the vehicle on for about 60 minutes. Above again, the floating volume dial. The hat unit contains shortcuts in the upper bar. We can edit widgets, open radio and media, navigation and maps, phone or Google Assistant. On the right, we find account and profile options, notifications, as well as non-clickable icons and last but not least, date and time. Moving on to the different features, audio and the different audio and media sources, maps, phone, Google Assistant, cancel, Play Store, Climate, Settings, Wi Fi Hotspot, Vehicle Status. Charging, camera, controls, drive modes, My Chevrolet, Podcasts, News, and different third party applications such as Spotify, iHeartRadio. and more. Below, we find climate options. And below, we find additional climate hard keys.
Moving on to the gear selection next. Press break to start, we should have done that. So let's try this once again. Push forward and down for drive, then neutral, reverse, which activates the camera in the hat unit, and last but not least, park. We're not gonna turn off the car. Then open and close the door. To wrap things up, we're gonna take the key and then lock the vehicle.